right, so let's talk about VFDs, variable frequency drives. This is my first experiment with them, and it's a success, so I want to share it with people. So this is a Tico Westinghouse L510 set up for single phase 110 volt input and 220 volt three phase output. <clears throat> variable frequency drive takes single phase input typically and outputs three phase for three phase motors like this and varies the frequency which allows you to t vary how quickly the motor turns okay so that's the beauty of a three phase motor is you can change the input frequency or wiring schematic to change either the voltage or how fast it turns in this case we're changing how fast it turns so i've got this this uh vfd set right now for uh, 60 hertz max maximum which is the motor's limit motor's upside down right now hold on so you can see the motor is a three-phase uh, poly phase, they call it a polyphase motor but it's a um, variable voltage input motor so I've got it wired for the lower nameplate name plate volt it's pretty convenient that these industrial type motors give you the wiring diagram I bought this this is a set of um, fans or like squirrel cage style fans out of an air door I mean, you can walk into Walmart and there you know you got the air door or whatever Oh, look at that. 96HV was, it's labeled as a 460 volt three phase setup, but um, I've got it wired as, this motor can be wired as 220, well, 208 to 230 is a range. So that's what I've got it wired for, because that's what my VFD does. And then I have a second one down at the bottom, that's why it says four or two motors. Obviously, this is just one. You got that big fat 10 gauge cable going over your VFD. I've got the parameters, so I'm not going to show you that. Turn the VFD on with the run button. Since I've got the dial turned all the way down, it's at zero. It says stop. So let's turn that up a little bit. And we get some turning going on. Kind of hard to see. Oh, there you go. See, it's turning. And you can adjust it to, let's say, since this is a 60 hertz motor, let's set it to roughly 20. And I can't really show you how well hard it's blowing, but it's turning faster, and you can hear it, maybe. You can hear the uh, motor turning. You can certainly see it. And then, of course, we can turn it up to... two-thirds capacity turning a lot faster maybe you can see that maybe you can see that it's super smooth I mean it vibrates a little at this RPM this uh, um, 40 Hertz but it's pretty good and then of course full bore this thing is like a damn rocket it's freaking crazy So turn it off, it has a ramp down feature, so it's not just on off with the voltage, it ramps it down. It's pretty sweet. For a 110 volt, or a 110, $140, whatever it costs, inexpensive anyway, VFD, you can make yourself a pretty sweet garage fan out of an otherwise useless setup, or otherwise useless fan motor, for just a couple hundred bucks. I think it's cool.